Hey, this is Phil, and I've been working with Mike Angus and my design team on the project here for Arizona State at Papago. This short game facility is going to be the single greatest short game facility in the country. It's not going to be the biggest. It's not going to be the most aesthetically beautiful. It's going to be the most functional. It's where these young college players will be able to develop their game and harness their short game and develop a world-class short game. They're going to have the ability, if they have the right work ethic, to have the greatest facility to define and get their short game precise and how this will provide a platform to create Arizona State as the best in the country. Tonight is, is almost beyond words to see the alumni turn out in addition to sponsors and boosters that have been a part of ASU for several years, uh, ones that helped bring the level of Carson Golf Course to um, basically raise the bar. And now we see ourselves 20, 25, 30 years later doing it again. And uh, I, I told one of my fellow alumni, I said, it sure would be nice to come back and be a student athlete again because this is going to be a pretty special treat. What we saw tonight was really spectacular. This is something that's been long coming with the help of guys like Greg Trias from the private sector, uh, new coach in Matt Thurman. I, and I think this land, again, Greg Trias had stated today that the, uh, the evolution of this property was going to try to be something special uh, over Papago, what that would look like. Uh, putting a private sector and a public sector together. So this is really exciting for the ASU golf team. Tonight is just the beginning and, and we have spent hours and hours uh, collaborating with many people here tonight with what we're so excited to get to reveal. The strategic projects between ASU and the City of Phoenix, including the revitalization of Papago Golf Course, is not possible without the vision and support of Mayor Stanton, Phoenix City Council, and the City of Phoenix. It's an area we know just as active area. We think that this is really going to activate the park. From a golf perspective and why it's a great asset for the golf community is we see turning this into a uh, Harding Park, uh, Torrey Pines of Arizona. A public golf course that we can be proud of so the common golfer can golf there. But if you care about golf and you come to Arizona, you have to stop by. So then the task was how do we embrace the history? How do we embrace people like the Hobbs family? How do we embrace Karsten Solheim? How do we do things so that we embrace the history of your all's talent so that the next generation of players here can meet it and match it and exceed it? I think we found a great solution to this. Um, the idea for Papago became more, it, obviously the first focus in this room, I give it, is 100% ASU Golf and how good it's going to be. A couple of the other agenda items are, it's a partnership. It's City of Phoenix, it's ASU, and I call the third leg in the stool the Arizona golf community. Um, I believe Papago is going to become a very substantial household name, which is what a great place to have ASU golf. So much is happening here at ASU. There's no place like it with this kind of energy and momentum moving forward. And there is no place like this valley and this university and this golf program that is more future focused uh, than we are. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Where we've been before, it's, it's pretty daunting for me to, uh, and humbling, honestly, to think that we got to keep getting better. But I just know with the people here, the people involved, uh, that our best days are still ahead. The design and the, the team that, that Rocky has put together to, uh, to build this fantastic facility, I mean, I, I can't wait to get out there, you know, with the dirt and get the shovels going and all that stuff. Our alums, when they're in town, if they live here or if they're swinging through town, that you come and hang out with us and, and practice with us. And we envision that this be a place where, after our athletes are in class in the morning, that they're going to be hanging out at our facility through, through the evenings in study hall and whatever else they need to do. We want to provide the ultimate training and learning environment for them. That's a, that's a big thing. but the place where you just simply can't afford not to be here because it's so much better than everybody else and the way you're going to grow up as a player, as a person. And lastly, we want to really connect deeply with the community. You guys are here. We want to be the very center of this golf community in Arizona and in the country.